Hello to today, or tonight. It's one of those days where we both worked, so not a lot has been filmed during the day. And trust me, if I filmed myself at work, you'd be more bored than just watching me do my normal stuff here. Uh, so I'm very excited because one, watching the Bruins while I'm cooking, making a potato, onion, garlic, saute type thing, hash browns maybe. But I'm using one of our wedding gifts uh, from Sarah and Shelly. Hello. Uh, using for the first time the big, heavy, black pan. Cast iron. Cast iron. So we're going to see how that goes. Take that baby for a test drive. Probably boil up some broccoli. You notice we actually have some color, some greenery. Feed the cat in a little while. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Bruins are back. The cat breathes so loud. I'm sitting here, she's not, she's just looking at me. She's not saying anything, but all I hear is <sighs> Her exhales are like tornadoes. You have a deviated septum? That wasn't me saying I'm gonna feed you. Gonna start by sauteing up these onions here. Now I'm gonna add the garlic. That's where all the flavor is, baby. And now the potatoes. It's looking so good. Trying to watch the hockey game and like, seriously, could she breathe any louder? Are you offended? She doesn't care, but she's a loud breather. When you use the cast iron skillet and it tastes good, but then you learn that it's very touchy in the cleaning department. And you can't use soap on it. Well, I don't want to ruin the seasoning on it. What does that even mean? The layer of food that we just cooked on it is going to add to the seasoning of the skillet. That's effed up. What? I don't, I don't believe that. Google it. I won't. Well, after those, well, after those potatoes, we both had to shower. It's from my amazing cooking. Right, kitty cat? She was letting me rub her belly. Like a freak. It was really weird. And she was like really into it. She was just like, oh yeah. Freak, shame, shame. I never met a cat that was okay with you touching their tummy. She isn't all the time. Sometimes I attempt to do it because I think she's going to be fine with it. And she goes, <laughs> Maybe it's just you. You have the Midas touch. The Midas belly touch. Hi. Well, now we are going to partake in desserts that we actually bought yesterday. Mm -hmm. Tara's favorite chocolate cake. Get my foot away from it. <laughs> it looks like I'm like resting my foot on it. Ew. It's so good. This cake is delicious. Um... What was that? I bit the end of the lobster tail. He didn't take it off the plate though. He like lifted the plate up to his mouth. He's like, okay. Um, our landlord last year for, well, earlier this year for my birthday, she bought me this really good chocolate cake from a local bakery and I've been obsessed with it ever since. This lobster tail is basically like a giant cream puff. I'm more of a, more of a pastry guy than cake. Frosting guy. I'm definitely not gonna be able to finish this. You can fit. I would finish that. This is huge. Look no shame. Up. Look at those layers. Mmm. Yummy. Pull it away, quick. Cat. <laughs> <laughs> so now we will say goodbye for tonight. Good night. Good night. Leave us alone. Maybe we'll play Mario Party. Mario Kart. I wish we had Mario Party. They haven't made Mario Party for the Switch, which is weird, because I feel like it's a really good platform for it. But we realized we couldn't play Mario Kart and eat cake at the same time. <laughs> Priorities. And kind of cake trumped the team building exercise of Mario Kart. <laughs> and by team building, I mean me winning and Tara just glaring at me. Yeah, really, it would be a detriment to our relationship, so. It's saving us. Thanks, cake. Bye-bye.